Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for taking time to stop by my channel. Check out my Stitch Fix. It is house cleaning day today, and I have been dusting and scrubbing and putting things away and vacuuming and just, you know, a little bit of a mess. And I knew that my Stitch Fix was out for delivery, so I've been waiting for it to come so I can take a break. So thank you for breaking with me. Um, I do have on my new little sunny side up positive attitude sundry top that I got from Nordstrom Rack Hall and just making the most of my day. Been listening to a few YouTube videos when I was in one place where I was cleaning and could listen and um oh I, I like the bundle. The look of the bundle just when I open up I see some animal prints, some floral looks like something real soft and knit and um, something caramel colored which is kind of a color I normally get a little nervous about um, with my gray but I love brown I just don't feel that it always looks as good on me so anyway I did not need anything in particular I I have spent my clothing budget for this month and so technically I've already gotten a stitch fix in January but I have some Christmas gift card credit, about $100. So my hope is something in here will be just beautiful and a love and it will be a Christmas gift. And I'm, oh, there's a shoe bag, y'all. Shoe bag. But I can't keep the whole box, so I will need your help. <laughs> Unless it's really obvious what my one thing is. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. Oh, Vince Camuto. I did get some Vince Camuto slippers in my trunk club, but they were not as nice as this. <laughs> These are perfect. Like they've got the hard sole and some tread on them, which is nice if you need to step out to your mailbox or move your car or whatnot. Um, and I like the open toe. I do have to say, I actually got not this is gonna be TMI probably but I got a fungus infection in one of my toenails and I have prescription strength medicine but because of that I haven't painted my toes I've just been cutting them all super short and um, yeah so I will try these on for you but I'm just disclaiming now <laughs> that my toes are not pretty but that doesn't matter this is this a blush or an ivory these are gorgeous it's like a cream I really like these they feel like they might be more comfortable than the other ones. And I'm not sure. The other ones were $75. So I'm also not going to pay $75 for slippers. That's just, yeah. But I like those. It was a fun thing to try and a possibility. And, oh, y'all, <laughs> this is Rails. Rails is a luxe brand for sure. But check it. It's tiger print. I... I love this. This is probably a hundred dollar t-shirt. I'm not kidding. There's this sweater. That's a tiger print by Rails. It's $250 and I've been watching it and it's on sale now for $150 and I still just haven't been it. There's just a $150 sweater. I mean, I spend $60, maybe $75 on a sweater. But, so that's like still twice as much, right? And that's on sale. So Rails is really, really expensive. And you're really paying for the name. I mean, it is very good quality, but you're really paying for the name. And um, yeah, it's not, it's not super thin. It's, this is definitely nice. I'm probably going to love that. And it's probably going to be $100. Although it could be my Christmas gift, right? And then here's this floral. This is pretty. I like the colors. Is this a dress? It looks long. Ooh, it's a, it's a strapless dress. Look, it's inside out. Oh, wait. Magnolia Grace reversible. Yeah, I was like, the tag flips. So it looks like it's solid navy on one side and then the floral on the other side. So it's two in one dresses. And I've clearly told my stylist, I don't mind getting things out of season. Um, so yeah, and you know what else, because if you didn't mind, if you wanted to cut the tag completely out or 
wear the tag, didn't mind wearing the tag in the front, you could have like a high neck with a V in the back or a V in the back and the high in the front, back. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like it's got a little, um, you know, bottom different color there. Let me look on the inside. Let me reverse it real quick, just out of curiosity. This is cute. Yep, it's got it on that side too. So it's navy, but then it's got the border at the bottom. So that's cute. I really like that. And it's a nice, like professional, what I call churchy knit, you know? It's soft and it's not gonna wrinkle, but it's almost like a crepe kind of feel. So I really, really like that. The only hesitation or negative thing at all I can say about this, because I love the color on me, is um, I have three dresses that I've bought since last March that still have tags that I haven't worn, because I just, I just, it's so infrequent to need a dress. And I even bought, actually there's four, because I bought a cocktail dress to wear to a formal wedding in March which ended up having to be, they didn't cancel. They just had to have family only. So yeah, but I have been known to wear my dresses, particularly my knit dresses like that around the house. I do that on a fairly regular basis. I put on a skirt or a dress and I just wear it strictly around the house. I put on tennis, I look like a New Yorker because I'll put on my tennis shoes and just walk the dog that day. Oh, this is cute. This is, um, I haven't been saying the brands, have I? Sorry, I'm doing a poor job today. This is Artie Style. It looks like a really big, fluffy cardigan. Yeah, what is this? Open Drape Update Fabric Cardigan. So it's like a gray and white heather. I love the long rib, the long rib, rib sleeves. And then I'm wondering if it's like a circle cardigan because it looks like it's it looks like it's got the more rounded drape, and it's super soft, super soft, and I like that with my hair. Mm-hmm. Very cute. I do have a gray cardigan that's thin, that is just okay. It was it was my fifth piece in a previous Stitch Fix box. And everybody agreed there wasn't anything wrong with it. There wasn't anything that special about it. And I do wear it occasionally, especially in the summer when you're like going into like the movie theater or, you know, um, a place where you know they're going to be running AC. It's perfect. Like when you have a tank top or a short sleeve shirt just to have that thin. But that one's thicker and we'll see. And uh, oh, my last piece is like a suede. Ooh, ooh it's, it's a skirt, y'all. I was just saying I don't wear skirts. I have such cute skirts and I just, I'm, I'm sad. I look at my skirts, but skirts just seem a little more high maintenance than even the dresses. Cause most of the dresses I do wear are the knit and kind of loungy dresses, if you will. So this is the Liverpool Elena Faux Suede Pencil Skirt in Camel. So let me show you, it's got pockets on the front. It's got working pockets on the front pencil skirt. I mean, absolutely beautiful for this was this is perfect for church and work and normal life before COVID. But we'll see how much it is how much it fits because to be honest, a lot of the skirts pre COVID are not going to fit because my booty is bigger. So that's a nice neutral color brown and because the brown is farther away from my hair and my face, I think the brown's gonna work. So let me read up my note. And I'll be back to show you all the pieces and you can help me decide because I think all five pieces have some potential and then we'll have to check out prices and have a little chat afterwards. So stay tuned. Hopefully this is a decent angle to see the slippers by Vince Camuto. They are the Apiti slipper in white. Although I definitely say this is cream. It's $49. So they're more comfortable than the Vince Camuto that were in my trunk, but to be honest, I don't think these are the most comfortable. I just don't care for how tight and clingy. I mean, they have to hold on to your feet, which they do. 
and I like the softness in the color. But for 50 bucks, I would need them to be perfect. And they're okay. And here is a look at the cardigan, the RD style, Sonole open drape updated dot 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 <laughs> in white. And it is $74, so it's a little pricey. But again, I do like the ribbed, you know, how long this is. I appreciate the brighter kind of white heather gray. I'm not totally sure. I don't have any other cardigans with this kind of rounded open drape. I like the fact that it's going to be open to show off your cute tees and pants. Um, I don't think there's pockets. No, there's no pockets. But I'm not sure if that actually accentuates, you know, the wideness of your butt and hips. So you'll have to let me know. I do like the length that it goes over the booty and it is very warm. So I've gotten warmer as I put this on and let me see. I think you can adjust and play around with how much this is actually cuffed or how much is going to be open. So I do like that. Let me show real quick the um, cardigan I already have. I like to do that. <laughs> it helps y'all help me decide if I need what I need. So this is also came from Stitch Fix. I'll have to look at the brand. I can't remember. I've had it a long time. And I also don't think it has pockets. It has a side slit. You can even tie this to bring it up. I've done that before. And it's just a thin layer. Again, it's really easy to pack it into a larger purse, take it into the movie theater, put it over the uh, tanks and tees in the summer. It's a little tight. You can see the bunching of my things, but I like the gray and it seems like it's, I mean, this one, I appreciate that it's a brighter white with my new silvers, but $74, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to get some feedback. Let's try the next thing. The 41 Hawthorne dress. I put it on the way that I feel like I would most often wear it with the V in the front and the floral pattern out. I really appreciate this particular combo, but I will show us some other, <laughs> versions if I can here. This is Persia Reversible Knit Dress in Navy. It is $78. I don't think that's totally unreasonable. I'd love it if it was a little cheaper, especially since it's off season. But I do like the length on this. You can see it comes to where this is my favorite place for a dress to come, just to the tops of my knees. It is super, super comfortable. I have no slips or shapewear of any kind under. And I think it's fairly forgiving because it does have that double layer also going on. So kind of, you know, the inner layer <laughs> kind of helps. I, I really appreciate the sleeves. I feel like, you know, it's got a nice fit cut under the arms. I like this secondary border band at the bottom. I don't think it makes me look shorter or cuts me off, but you'll have to let me know. But I just really, I really just think this is kind of fun. <laughs> this is definitely, definitely my favorite thing that I've put on so far of the three out of five. So let me turn around one more time, let you see this, and I will put it on a different way, hey? I don't know that it's officially supposed to be reversible. I'm obviously inside it out, but front to back. But this is it reverse front to back so that the scoop is in the front. I don't think it's at all too high a neckline. In fact, I think this is very conservative. It, you know, the V did not come down far at all, but if you're particularly wanting to be, you know, professional, this is a great look. And then the V ends up in the back. So you've got just a little V again. You can see it doesn't come down real low. So let's try on inside out now. Okay, here's with the navy side out. You can see there's just a hint of the pattern of the other side that kind of sticks out, but it borders with the border on the bottom. So I really, really like that. 
I think this is, you know, very classic. I don't think this would go out of date or out of style very easy. You know, I think with a darker navy, you could easily take this into fall with a darker navy cardigan, or I do have a green black weave one that I think actually might work. But anyway, I really, really like this. And I'm wearing a regular bra, so it's bra friendly. Lots of good things to say about it. Let me take it off and I'll maybe say how it's washable and put on the next outfit. Okay, back with the next outfit. I knew I would love this rail stop. <laughs> it's the Kara Knit Tee in Off-White. It's not $100, but it's $88. So let's talk about it. I love the tiger pattern. I love the thickness of it. You can't, I've got a chocolate bra on. You can't see that. It's got a kind of modified V. It's got the regular sleeves with lots of room, but it's not overly baggy, but it's not fitted and clingy. It's really, you know, the perfect T length. This would be cute with jeans and black shorts and all kinds of stuff. It's just a little obnoxious in price for a t-shirt, y'all, not gonna lie. The skirt is beautiful and fits so comfortably. I notice, you know, with the embroidery here, it wants to pucker <laughs> right there. So I'd kind of be fiddling with that a lot. It's the Liverpool Elena Faux Suede Pencil Skirt in Camel. It is $68. So, and I forgot to tell you, the dress is machine washable, lay flat to dry. So that's a plus. The skirt, I really, really like how comfortable and stretchy. I like that it has working pockets. I think it's, you know, a fairly flattering fit. It is pretty bodycon. I would probably be messing with it. And since I don't need skirts, I think this will probably, I mean, I like the dress way more than the skirt, but this is just so soft and so comfortable. And if you need skirts, this may be worth considering. And the rails top, I absolutely love every single thing about it besides the price. <laughs> so let's talk. So what do y'all think? Rebecca did another amazing job. This was really, really fun things to try. I mean, there was nothing that wasn't my style. Absolutely nothing. These slippers are super cute. And even though they're much more comfortable than the last ones I tried, I just felt like they felt a little tight across the bridge of the foot. And for $50, I mean, let's be real, Target and Walmart and all those, they've kind of been killing it for slippers. You can get really nice slippers for under 20 bucks nowadays. So they have to be, I don't mind investing because these will hold up longer than those, but they need to be perfect. So I enjoy trying these though. These are cute. They're like little cute bunny shoes. The cardigan, I also really, really love the color and I enjoyed trying this style, but I think the gray one I already have, I actually like just a little bit better and I'd probably reach for that one over this one. If I needed more warmth, I've got plenty of warm cardigans right now that I'm really, really enjoying. So I'm thinking that's no. I really loved that how comfortable this skirt is and just the beautiful, and I did appreciate that this brown is okay for me to wear when it's not right up against my face. So gorgeous, but won't be keeping that. The Rails t-shirt, I am super, super glad that I got to try it. I am going, it's not a Stitch Fix exclusive. And I do know that Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, several companies carry rails. And so what I'm thinking is I'm going to find it in inventory places and kind of watch it for sales and pick it up later, already knowing exactly the size and name and cut that I want because I just really think that this is totally me. I'm not a huge animal print, but tiger, tiger is it for me. So, but I don't want to pay $88. I just, I just don't. <laughs> However, this dress, 
I think is a winner y'all it's $78 and I feel like for that 78 you get four dresses in one and I am not a huge huge floral person but I really like this it has that kind of vacation vibe but not so much that you couldn't just wear it in your everyday church or work I don't need it right now and honestly it would be one of those things where I wear it around the house just you know to look cute and appreciate the fact that I have nowhere to really wear it at the moment but I think it's kind of classic enough that it's not trendy it's not going to just go out of style I think it's worth it and I've got you know my Christmas credit so I think my Christmas credit present is worthy of getting this but let me know because I don't have to I could wait because there, there is valid argument that it's a dress that I'm not going to wear a whole lot any time soon so I could just send it all back I will be getting another requested box in the two to three week time period because that will be February and then I'll have February budget <laughs> so I, I don't really necessarily have anything that I need but it is just fun and brings me joy and I just really enjoy sharing it with my YouTube friends and getting feedback and kind of taking that break from whatever stresses are going on. So may you be blessed this day and take a deep breath and take that well-deserved break and just gather it up, go back into it, be the best you, get it done, and then we all get to take another break. <laughs> Y'all have an awesome day. I appreciate you. Thanks.